There's one. All right. Come on, fish with Latin in your have some fun. Can't some fly in Alaska on the wall you can or catch some trout and salmon in good old Washington. Fishing with Latin, casting with Latin, man, that's a lot of fun. Ladies and gentlemen, we just caught a fabulous day here in October. We're fishing Flint Creek. We've been here before. We know it's a great river. Hopefully we'll catch a lot of nice fish. Stick around. It was a cold and foggy Montana morning, but eventually the sun would break through. Well, this looks like a pretty good hole, Adam. Yeah, it sure does. Hopefully it won't be too fast for them, you know. It's cold, yeah. so we're looking for slow water, but maybe that seam across there, the I slower water. I think that water. looks great. Yeah. We'll give it a try right here. Sounds great. All right. Steve made a cast toward a seam and let his flies drift with the current. There's one. All right. <laughs> Pretty cool. Yeah, great. Yep. They're eating. That's a good sign. Did Not a cut? huge fish, but I think it's a rainbow. No, it's a brown. It's a, it's a really cold day here in October. We've got abnormally cold weather, freezing temperatures. I think got down to 17 degrees. So. This water is really cold, but pretty cool. The fish is active already, taking a fly. Um, it just kind of stopped after a while. I think it's pretty cold, uh, but it's pretty cool to see that the browns in here are still feeding, and hopefully, we'll have a great day of fishing. Well, I know there's one fish in here. I don't see why there wouldn't be more. But. Yep, I agree. There's a good one. Nice. And there is more. Yep. Good job. Thanks. Oh, that's Ooh, a, yeah, that's a good fish, brown. Steve. Yeah. I think it's a brown. Yeah, I think so too. I'm going to try to get it in this calm water over here. Okay. Oh, boy. Good, good, good. Yeah. Yeah, look Let's at that brown. That's a beauty. Oh, yeah. Oh, good boy. fish. Huh. Boy, boy. That's cool. Good fish. Yeah, it is. Had them pretty close. <clears throat> boy, look at that guy. Yeah, it's cool. Oh, shoot. Big fat brown. <laughs> wow. Big fat brown. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. It's fantastic. Took the stonefly. Oh, nice. This is just a gorgeous, big, fat brown trout. It's got beautiful colors. Wow. <laughs> nice. Yeah, it's a real nice fighter. There she goes. A lot of fun here in October. <laughs> <laughs> it's cold, no doubt about it, but it's a pleasant day. Great fishing. Yep, beautiful day. Yeah, fantastic. Well, we caught some fish in the last hole, so we're heading upstream, see if we can find some, some more water with lots of fish in it. It's beautiful country here in Montana. You can see the mountains. Got a great day in October. It's pretty cool. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that looks good. Oh, yeah, this looks very good. Nice little ruffle going into a perfectly deep inside seam. Yeah, it looks like it slows down nice. For the cold weather, probably, you're thinking they're going to be in this slow water? I'd, I'd think so. We'll see. I'll try this here if that's all right. All right, yeah, give it okay. a shot. We were under a watchful eye of a bald eagle. There's one. All right. It's so cold. They're not hitting it real hard. They're taking it in the slow water. And you know, the, the strike indicator just kind of barely got pulled under. Definitely looks like a brown trout. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. It's net. 
Holy. The net here. Well, maybe frozen. <laughs> what a beautiful brown trout. Look at that. Probably 12, 13 inches. Just a really nice fish. Pretty cool. This hole just definitely looks like a great hole. And, and I'm, I'm guessing there's more in there. They're just still, it's pretty cold um, and they're not feeding a lot yet, but hopefully that'll pick up as the afternoon wears on and uh, really nice brown trout. We're catching these fish with a nine foot five weight fly rod using a floating line and then a strike indicator down to a couple nymphs. You can use two nymphs here in Montana. First one is uh, kind of a Pat's rubber legs, a little bit different version of that. I don't know what the official name is, but a, a stonefly nymph for sure. And then the bottom one is more of a pheasant tail nymph and uh, that fish hit the stonefly nymph. That's a fish, Steve. All right, it's awesome. Decent. And it's a better fish here. Cool. Yep. It's either, I think it looks like a rainbow or a white fish. Looks like a white fish to me. It does look like a white fish. All know. right. Well, that's a sign of actually a sign of a good, healthy stream. That's so, exactly hey, right. Take it. They're <laughs> good fighters. Oh, is that a white fish? Yeah, it's a white fish. Yeah, it is. Look at that. Beautiful. Rocky yeah. Mountain whitefish, or something like that. Yeah. I took the pheasant tail. Oh boy, that's a big whitefish. Nice. Yeah, thank you. Big, fat. I tell you what, those things are scrappy. And again, you know, whitefish. They kind of have a bad name sometimes, mostly because of me, <laughs> but uh, they're signed a good healthy stream and that thing fought hard and good fish. Very cool. Thank you. Fish. Nice. Yeah, that's a brown this time. I got to look at them. Oh boy, it's decent too. Look nice. at that. Taking out Taking some line. Out line. Kind of like that. Yeah. Oh boy. Oh, it's a big cut. Cut, yeah. Yeah, I thought it was a brown, but we got to look at it. That thing came up and it's a big old cut. Beauty. Look at the colors on them. I grabbed the net and prepared to land the fish. Yeah. Wow. That's exciting. Boy, that's a big fish. Holy nice. smokes, that's a beauty. <laughs> that is a big old cut. That is. Wow. Not expecting that. I mean, I know there's cuts in here, mm -hmm. but that big? Oh, gorgeous, big, big old cut. My gosh, look at the size of that yeah. thing. <sighs> well, we've caught some really nice browns and now we just caught a big, beautifully colored cut. When it came up, it was so colorful, I thought it was a brown. But then we got a little closer look and just the, again, just a gorgeous cutthroat. Good job. Thank you. That's a lot of fun. You want to show the fly again? Sure. This fly that we caught a lot of fish today, we got from a local fly shop. It's kind of like a little Pat's rubber legs. But it's always nice to go to a fly shop where you get specific information. And this fly is really paying off. Be sure to join us next time for more Fishing with Lad, because we're having fun catching fish. Hey folks, please subscribe to our YouTube channel.